Getting sports fans revved up before the actual 2018 Winter Games begin is the Olympic torch relay. It's been making its way around Korea for the past few weeks since arriving from Greece. Today, we're going to see how each destination has prepared for its arrival in tune with the theme and each area's own regional characteristics. Our Cha Sang Mi reports. The Olympic flame, an enduring symbol of the Olympic Games. And the flame corresponding to Pyeongchang 2018 was ignited in Olympia, Greece on October 24th and arrived in Korea on the first day of November. Since then, a 101-day torch relay across nine provinces and eight major cities of Korea has been taking place. And it will continue until February 9th, the opening day of the 2018 Pyeongchang Winter Olympics. Spreading the excitement and the festive Olympic spirit under the slogan, Let Everyone Shine, 7,500 torchbearers will cover a total distance of 2,018 kilometers, representing the year of the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics. And the torch's journey has been highlighted by some unique methods of transportation. Pyeongchang's Olympic flame was taken aboard legendary Korean Admiral Lee Soon-shin's turtle ship in Hansando Island, Tongyang, the very same vessel that successfully repelled an invasion of Japanese ships in the 16th century. The torch was then taken to Busan, Korea's main port city, and then to Yeosu, where the torch was taken on a marine cable car which connects Tursan Island and the mainland. In pursuit of Pyeongchang 2018's success, we turned the cable cars into flower carts with camellia flowers, the symbol of Yeosu. In lighting the regional characteristics of Korea, the torch was taken on some exotic relays as well. Henyo, Korea's renowned female divers of Jeju Island, carried the torch in waters. Henyos are widely known to make a living by harvesting seafood, such as abalone by hand from the seafloor, without using any breathing equipment. The Olympic torch then reached the southwestern coast of the peninsula on a rescue helicopter. This was the longest leg of the torch relay so far, with the flight lasting for an hour. Then the flame illuminated the historic fortress of Naganipsong in Suncheon. Representing Suncheon athletes, I got the honor to be a torchbearer. Although I am in Suncheon, my heart will be with the Pyeongchang athletes. I hope everyone from around the world enjoy the games in Pyeongchang. All destinations are important, but the Pyeongchang Organizing Committee picked five key themes for the torch relay. Economy, environment, technology, culture and peace. The first theme, economy, took place in the Songdo International Business District along the Incheon Bridge. Hoping for global unity and advancement, 101 runners crossed Korea's longest suspension bridge. Next, the torch relay adopted the environment theme. The highlight of the environment theme takes place in Suncheon Bay National Garden. In this exotic park that portrays sustainability, some 400 support runners are now performing Kangang Sule, a very Korean traditional dance in pursuit of preserving the environment. Kangang Sule was traditionally performed during the harvest season to wish for a productive year. Suncheon Bay National Garden, home to hundreds of different species of trees and flowers, is the perfect place to represent the theme of environment. The ICT theme of the torch relay is to take place in Daejeon, Korea's technology hub. Then, the cultural theme event is to take place at Seoul's Gwangamun Square. And finally, in Paju, bordering North Korea, we will have events under the peace theme. The Olympic flame is lighting up all corners of the nation, bringing the Olympic spirit of Pyeongchang 2018 every step of the way. Cha Sang-mi, Arirang News.